Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and we're checking out a game that really has nothing to do with the Olympics, but everything to do with the Olympics, because for whatever reason, they decided to have this little mascot called Izzy uh, for the 100th anniversary of the Olympics as like a little mascot, and they made a game about Izzy called Izzy's Quest for the Olympic Rings. So this will be a completely different one, since it's nothing to do with the Olympics. Um, it's rather, well, I mean, it, it is, but it isn't at the same time. Uh, we've got, uh, a couple different button options here. Spin jump, hurdle jump, that sounds better. I don't know why they did it the way they did it. That was stupid. The default button mapping is broken, obviously. Izzy test, what's, not sure what this is here. Uh, what, what? Okay. Can I do one of these events? Oh, okay. It's a show that animations and shit. I was like, why is he not doing these mini games or whatever? But uh, let's go ahead and uh, check it out here. Let's get right into the game here. As soon as Izzy loads his little thing so that we can actually... Um... Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason, the start option would not highlight. How to play Izzy. No damage. Hurdle jump goes farther, but Izzy takes damage. Dizzy Izzy can lose a life now. Collect three medals to heal Izzy. Okay. Seems pretty simple. Don't jump on the enemies. So it's not like Sonic. It's more like Bub... Well, no, Bubsy jumped on enemies too, I think, right? I don't know. It's like one of those games, obviously. Get medals. Olympic torch, yeah. Uh, controls are okay-ish. I mean, they're a little, a little faster than I'd like, but I guess it's okay. I don't know if we should bother checking out the Genesis version. I'm sure they're probably identical, just like the other ones were. Um, okay, it goes all the way down. Got it. Oh, I have the hurdle jump. I, I don't really notice a difference. They both seem like... I'm pressing both jump buttons. They look pretty much identical. I have no idea what's the... Oh, okay. It's different. Uh, I get it. So this is the jump you want to use to jump on enemies, but it doesn't jump as high. This one jumps higher, but you get hurt, I guess, whenever you jump on enemies with that jump. I'm guessing that's a difference. Okay. We'll figure it out, though. Whoa, indeed. Okay. This one has, like, a weird latency to it. Like, I can't describe it. Like, it just does not feel like it's playing smoothly. Uh, let's see. I turn into a magic Izzy? That can't go any direction besides left, I guess? I don't know. It make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. Get the gold medals. This one's a collect-a-thon for sure, people. Oh, that's a, that's a bad thing. That hurt Izzy, I guess. I think. Oh, okay. Oops, that sucks. Not sure. Uh, I guess I have to go all the way back around. Yeah, I really don't even see the point of the other jump button. It's They're the same button, essentially. You know, it's just doesn't make any sense. Like, why is there different jump buttons? I guess I have to grab this again. Let him do his magic flying thing again. Wait, did I get hurt from that? I don't know, where is his health even? Oh, I think it's those red dots right there, up there. Nice. Come on, jump on the enemy. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, dude, the controls just feel very, uh, very weak sauce in this. Just not getting the vibe for the controls. I'm guessing that's a checkpoint. Okay. Let's see. The flower. I wonder if we bounce on the flower. I think, yes, we do. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Actually, I'm kind of curious if it does play difference on the Genesis. I know the other game really didn't, but we might have to check it out just to see. Maybe not as in-depth as the Super Nintendo one. 
Unless it is a lot different. Ah, nice. Good job, Izzy. Izzy Dizzy. I wish there was more than just the two jump buttons that are, like, almost identical, though. Like... What's going on there? Okay, now... Yeah! Got it. It's so weird. It's a platforming game that has two jump buttons, but ha don't have any other buttons. No other buttons, man. Just insane. Whatever, I did we win? Here's a flag. I'm set guessing we have some other objective to accomplish here. Can't quite understand what that is, though. We're almost dead, though, apparently. So how do we... Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, not sure what happened there, but okay. That's where that flag would have meant victory or something like the end of the level. Something that makes sense, at least. Enemies respawn, so we gotta watch out for that. Wait, I can I have an attack now, okay. Game actually has some interestingness going on here. Except he's like using a fencing sword, but he, I couldn't jump at all whenever I was using it, so it was kind of useless actually. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's just such floaty jumping. It's like a really crappy version of Rayman is what this feels like. All right. So yeah, that was um, the first level. I guess we'll play another level. Um, that's taking forever. <laughs> is the Elder Challenge. Let's see what this is about. Rocket Ride 1. I guess we use this rocket to uh, okay. I can't go there for some reason. That was weird. Oh, uh, okay. I probably just wasn't supposed to go that way. That's why I was... Holy crap. Fireball. Yeah, this, this part's a little bit cool, I think. It's got a good it's got a good bonus game at least. I'm not sure if that's good or bad to collect. It, it seemed like I got hurt when I collected it last time. Yeah, I can't seem to change direction of the trajectory once I get going, so I just have to hold you hold back and you can slow down your rocket. That seems very paramount to uh, be able to collect the medals. I screw that one up. Oh well. I wonder how far, much farther we go here. Wait. Gravity is working against me now. Holy crap. No, not the gravity. Oh, okay. Good, good. Okay, so I, I guess I was out of fuel or some shit. Whatever. That's the uh, end of the minigame, I guess. Or was it a minigame? As he pursues the ring guardians in his quest for the onyx ring. Okay. So I guess you try to collect the different Olympic rings in this to uh, accomplish your objective of saving the Olympics or something, I guess. I don't know. Because uh, they needed saving, even though they weren't in danger this whole time. Um, there's clearly some kind of secret down there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, nice. Okay. I guess I'm out of health. I don't have any of those red dots anymore. Let's see what we open up in our little... Yeah. Okay, I got a couple medals there. We need... Are those just for points, or what? Alright. Is 
He's like tightrope walking on this or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to describe the jumping. It just doesn't feel very responsive. I Trust me on it. You know, just check it out on an emulator or whatever. Or I don't know if they really even sell this game anymore. I got a bow, though. That's pretty cool. I mean, this game's already better than some of the Olympic games we've played. Even despite its sluggish controls. Because, I mean... How do you, uh, do as bad as Olympic, uh, Gold Medal Challenge 92 or, uh, Barcelona 92 or something like that? 92 is just a crappy year for Olympic games, I guess. Like, for Olympic video games. There wasn't anything good going on that year. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty standard platforming game that, uh, is kind of a little under the bar of where it should be, you know, it's not a, it's not a gold, silver, or even bronze, this is a, like a fourth, fifth place contender. If you put it against like a total of ten platforming games, it'll be like fifth place. Um, because I mean, it, it functions just fine, it's just not, not the most sturdy in gameplay mechanics. Ah, uh, there we go. But, I mean, it has decent graphics and music and stuff like that, and, uh... It's a neat little concept. Uh, I still don't understand why two jump buttons. That just does not make any sense to me. Did the developer really think, Oh, we really need two jump buttons in a platforming game? Which, I mean, you need one for a platforming game for sure, but pla platforming is very important. Obviously, a good button, like a B button or something like that, or, you know, A if you're using, like, a 360-type controller... X for uh, PlayStation. Those kind of buttons work great for jumping. Um, I, I just don't understand why there's a separate jump that don't... Uh, okay, well, I guess some platforming games do have two jumps. Like Super Mario World, for example, has the spin jump thing, but it does something different. You know, it's a different type of jump that is meant to, like, break blocks and attack certain enemies and stuff like that. It's not just the same jump except a little bit higher... In a different animation. I haven't even been pressing the A button jump at all, like except for like those rare instances I need just a tiny bit more height. Okay. Okay, got a little bit of a jumping puzzle here. Yeah. Well, that's uh, Izzy's quest for the Olympic rings. I don't even know if I'll cover the Genesis one. I might check it out just a bit to see if it's any different, but I just don't suspect that it is. If there is even a Genesis one, I think there is, but I don't know. If you see me upload an episode, then there is, and it is different. But I just don't expect it, guys. So, uh, thanks for tuning in to this episode of this, uh... I mean, this has nothing to do with the Olympics, but it does, so I guess that's why I did this episode. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out.